A brand new feature on Review iPad 2.4 is Capture. If you're running Review 12 already, you might be familiar with Capture. It's a space-saving pop-up photo gallery that can be attached to any markup. Capture is designed for our users in the field to be able to document site conditions with photos and attach them to your PDF. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use Capture on Review iPad. So I've got a drawing already opened up here on my iPad, and let's say I'm out in the field um, and I need to document some site conditions here. I go into this conference room and I see there's some issues with a wall that I want to put some photos in. First, I need to add a markup to the location. So Capture will attach itself to any markup. So first I'm going to go into my tool chest and select a customized callout that I've already created. I'm going to place it down on the drawing and just make a quick notation. Now that I've added the actual markup to attach a capture gallery, all you need to do is tap and hold for about one second on the markup in question, and you'll see a menu appears with some options. I'm going to select on the far right hand side, Capture, and that's going to open up the capture gallery interface. So we have a few options about how you can go about adding your photos depending on where they are. If you've already taken photos and saved them, in your iPad, you click on the icon on the far left hand side of the photo with the plus sign. So I've already taken two photos of this issue on my camera roll. I can go ahead and select them one by one. They'll be put into the gallery. I'm going to select the second one. Let's say I actually want to take a, another photo of maybe another wall issue. I can click on the icon in the lower center of the interface, and that's going to initiate my camera connected to my iPad. So I can go over and snap a photo of any other issues that I see, click on the Use Photo button in the lower right hand corner, and that's going to insert that photo into your capture gallery. Now if I have photos already saved to a cloud storage system like Dropbox, Box, or even Studio Projects, I can click on the Document Manager icon, the little file cabinet with the plus sign on the lower right hand side, and that's going to open up my interface where I can access any of these cloud storage accounts that I've already set up on my iPad. You'll see here I do have a Dropbox account set up. So if I have any photos saved in there, I can go ahead and insert them into the Capture Photo Gallery. So you can scroll through your Capture Photo Gallery either by clicking on the arrows that appear, or you can just simply swipe as you're used to doing on an iPad. If you need to delete any photo, when that photo is appearing, just click on the trash can icon in the upper left hand side and that photo will be deleted. At any time you can add more photos by clicking on one of the buttons at the bottom. Now to get out of the capture gallery, just click on the X in the upper right hand corner and you'll see now on this actual markup there is a little camera icon in the lower right hand corner. That's just telling you there's a capture gallery attached to this markup. In order to access the gallery, just simply click on that and it will open up. Now the only feature that's not supported on the iPad in Capture that you do have on Review 12 is the ability to export one of these photos out of the Capture Gallery to save it to your hard drive. But of course you can always do this if you have Review 12 Desktop and Capture. So you can add literally hundreds of photos to Capture Galleries. Review will compress the photos for you, but keep in mind that the more you add, the larger your file will get. If you do plan on using your iPad's camera to take a lot of photos, you might consider going into the Preferences, and then under Photo, selecting Image Quality Low. This will help you keep your files a bit smaller. Capture is fully supported in Review 12, View, and also in Studio Sessions, so you can be connected to a collaborative session on the iPad and add Capture Calories. So that's it for Review iPad Capture. We hope you get a lot of use out of Capture when you need to document site conditions in the field. Thanks a bunch.